Good morning all. Uh, I come to you from the back of the van. Yeah, the, the van that I was going to talk about in the intro that you've probably just seen that I did a couple of weeks ago. I'd say it's been busy. I'd be lying. It's been mad busy. So, sort of this has took a, a bit of a back seat, so to speak, because the filming and editing and stuff is for an amateur novice technophobe like me it takes forever and a day but we'll try and uh, do a little bit today and i'm going to try and do the video regarding the van and all that stuff but it is another glorious day in sunny norfolk it is just after eight o'clock in the morning we're getting an early start because we've got loads to do Still backpacking. But yeah, hopefully we'll get some content today, get a video out this week, which is the, I don't even know what day it is. It's Wednesday, middle of June-ish. Anyway, cheers. <laughs> finally got to do another video uh, this is a little bit mix and match of you've probably seen a couple of introductions because I did one a week ago didn't get time to film anything else did another one this morning thought I probably wouldn't get time to film anything else managed to do it here we are I'm sure you've been God, pulling your hair out thinking when is he gonna upload another awful video so this is basically just to show the van uh i was originally going to make a video on what i was using which was a nissan nissan kashkai um but i actually didn't get time to film it and then sold it so that was the end of that uh originally it was uh good to use for window cleaning uh, I was tr only tr doing traditional then at the time, so it was get a roof rack, bang ladders on the roof, a couple of tubs of five litres of water in the back, traditional gear, cloths, scrims, step ladders on the back seats, happy days. Um, but when I obviously moved over to Waterford Pole, trying to carry around 25 litre tubs of water, as well as the backpack, as well as the trolley, just became a bit of a nightmare. So I just thought, well, we'll just go for a van. Um, I sold the car, which was fairly straightforward. I advertised it too cheaply originally, had to sort something different out and put it back on the market, sold it for what I wanted after doing a little bit of research. Um, and I'd been looking for a van for a couple of weeks previous to that. Unfortunately, by the time I'd sold the car, couldn't find a van. Literally nothing for the budget that I wanted to spend. Everything had either done ridiculous amounts of miles or was ridiculous amounts of money. And as I'm quite new to Waterford Pole, I didn't want to splash out a load of cash on something that I'm, I am convinced it will continue to work, it continues to be great. But I didn't want to make that plunge just yet. But saying that, work the last couple of weeks is absolutely mental honestly the amount of new customers and inquiries i've had is crazy I, I don't get it i just assume it's people have been sat at home for vast amount of time during lockdown and have suddenly thought oh, i'll tell you what we'll do we'll get a window cleaner now one of the best things i did during lockdown was i got myself a facebook page for the business I hadn't done this before, also did an Instagram page, and 
the amount of shares and likes, uh, comments has just blown everything out of the water. I'm rammed with work. Um, and originally, on the first video that I did on here, I did put a, a quip in that I'd seen a load of window cleaners on various Facebook sites, etc., saying, oh, they couldn't believe how much work they got, etc., etc., etc. And what I'd actually said was a load of that they hadn't got all that work and they were just being like some of them are on these sites. Um, but I deleted that because I thought, mm, perhaps they are, I can't really, you know, I can't judge because I, I don't know their workload and how they work and if they have got all this new work. But it turns out they probably did. So it's a good job that I didn't put it in that video, but I've already told you I was going to now anyway. So there you go, hey ho. But yeah, it's been good. And obviously the weather's been great apart from a couple of weeks uh, where we had a bit of rain, etc. But no, it's, it's all good. And as we speak, it's one of the hottest days of the year in glorious Norfolk. So I shall show you round the van now, but uh, oh yeah, I'll just show you where I've stopped. Um, it's probably not the best place to stop because this road along here, of any of you that know Norfolk at all, this road runs all the way to Sea Paulin, which is over there somewhere, which is a massive tourist attraction, tourist hotspot, shall we say, because uh, the beach is there, hot donuts, beach ball places, calves, sun lounges, all that sort of stuff. And now the fact that we're just obviously staycationing, that's uh, where a lot of people go. And obviously there's still a lot of people on furlough etc so yeah that is a busy busy place but this is the van it is a Peugeot partner uh, 1.6 HDI on a 2012 plate now forgive me because I picked this up less than a week ago I have done nothing to it not cleaned it not really done anything to it apart from take it to uh, my mechanic who has done a uh, new cam belt, new water pump, oil change, oil filters, etc, etc. That This is only due because the guy I bought it off, he bought it from a guy who bought it, bought it, bought it, bought it, from a guy uh, from a company that had gone bankrupt, a building company. So the van actually comes with absolutely nothing apart from the van. There's no service history, no MOT, X MOT certificates. You can obviously look up all your MOTs online now, but apart from that, it came with nothing. So that's what I had to do. I had to get cam belt done, etc., because it's done 120,000 miles. We just didn't know if it had a cam belt done on it or not. So I wasn't going to take the risk of the engine blowing in season. Um, it's not ideally what I wanted. I ideally wanted something a little bit bigger, sort of a Varo sort of size or Renault traffic size. But for the time being, uh, this will do. I got my mechanic friend to look over it before I bought it. Said it was nice and sturdy van. Um, the bodywork's got a few bits and pieces that we are going to get done. Um, there's obviously there's a little ding here, a little ding here on the bonnet. There is these patches. There's one there. Stickers is what it is. There's a sticker on here and it's where these horrific door locks have been put in. Uh, there's another one on here. Uh, again, door locks. All coincides with these door locks. But there were stickers on, also on here that said no tools left in this van overnight because it was a, um, obviously a builder's van so they obviously kept tools in it overnight. But these locks are an absolute nightmare. So you have to unlock with the key and then you then have to unlock with another key. So if you don't unlock that key, the van is unlocked, but you can't get in it. Personally, I think it's an absolute nightmare, but we'll go with it for the time being. Again, as I say, I've done nothing apart from ram this full of stuff, work stuff, obviously. Steps. 
these are all obviously the 25 litre drums that I use for um, pure water. And, uh, there's a dozen or so in there, I think, of what I've been using. We are fully out, so we do need to get some more. But um, yeah, in the back is the same sort of scenario. Obviously backpack in the corner, uh, cloths for traditional stuff, scrims, belt, ladder, lots of other chemicals because also try for domestic cleaning. I do some domestic cleaning as well as window cleaning. Um, cloths obviously in those and pole down the side. Um, it is what it is to be perfectly honest. You know, it's been done actually the inside, you can't really see very well, but actually done inside, it's all been carpeted out, nice, both sides, all on the floor, done the doors, haven't done the bottom doors, but it's just, it's just a little rough around the edges and I've got ridiculous OCD, so those sort of things are going to have to be sorted. I mean, I mean there's, a, there's a ding in the bumper down here. I'm gonna get a new bumper for it. I'll have a look online, they're about 60 quid. But as I say, the paintwork, gonna get that paintwork touched up as well. Um, there's a little sort of ding here. But apart from that, it looks nice. It's got, you know, it's a fairly tidy van. There's no rust on it. it. Does the job, obviously ladders and stuff on the roof. Engine sweet, it drives really nice. Inside is again horrific. I honestly apologize because nothing I ever have is dirty. I, generally my OCD will not let me have anything that's horrific. Uh, my house is spotless. I hoover two or three times a day because I'm a bit of a freak. Um, I had to get, obviously I've got a new steering wheel cover just above the old one because the wear and tear on that steering wheel is rank, proper rank. I did have, I did buy one off eBay where you can like stitch it round, but I just haven't got time to do it. So I found this one for like three quid and it's like padded and nice and yeah, it does the job. But generally inside, I don't know if the camera will pick up on this, but it is absolutely rank. There is dust and dirt and it's just horrible. Even down here, you can probably see that better down there. I haven't touched it, literally haven't had a chance to hoover it, and this is how it came. And I literally didn't have any choice, so it is what it is. And I say everything works, so aircon, all the electrics, all those bits and pieces. So, yeah, it's all right, it will do a job. Little compartment there for bits and pieces, but yeah. But it's a van at the end of the day, it's a workhorse. And yeah, it will do. See how we get on with it and then maybe review it in six months time. It's got a full ticket now. New cam belt, new water pump. Service, all the tires are great. Went straight through the MOT, full ticket. So yeah, can't complain. Anyway, enough of me running on about a load of gibberish. That is the van. This was the video. This is Norfolk. If you can like and subscribe, that would be great. I will hopefully get another video to you soon. I do want to have a chat about uh, the pros and cons of social media, Facebook, Instagram, etc. Uh, I know loads of other people who do YouTube videos regarding window cleaning have had their 50 pence. So I might as well put my 20 pence worth in just to uh, say what I think about it all. But. From me to you, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, au revoir.